This is a good example of know what you're picking before you pick. I have absolutely no idea what these red berries are. So if you don't know, don't pick them. But these, I know, are rose hips. So they're not quite ready yet. I will come back and get some rose hips another time. But if you're not sure what you're picking, don't pick it. I know what these red berries are, these are hawthorn berries, but they are very, very similar to those, I have no idea what they are, so as I say, if you're not sure, don't pick them. Old folklore says when there's an abundance of berries like this, we're in for a harsh winter. Lots of windfall apples. Windfall apples, dandelions and hawthorn berries. All for free, all fresh. So these are the windfall apples that I picked and this crate is one of those 
plastic crates that I was telling you about when I parked near a green grocer's and they were all piled by the bins. Well, there were three or four plastic crates, the rest were all cardboard boxes. And I did ask and she said, take what you want. So clearly they, they were outside to be thrown away. But even if they were going to be recycled, it still takes energy to recycle. Surely it's better to reuse. Anyway, so these are the windfall apples and they've got some more blackberries and elderberries. So what I actually did previously with windfall apples and elderberries and blackberries, I just heated the elderberries and blackberries up, uh, put them through a sieve and then the juice I mixed with the apples, a little bit of sugar I didn't make a jam, uh, I made like a sauce really, I've just taken this out of the fridge, sterilised the jar and made a sauce, I've just put a little bit of sugar in to go with meat or cheese. Um, I don't intend to keep that for months and months but it will certainly keep a month or two in the fridge because I've sterilised the jar. Um, I got some hawthorn berries and some rose hips. There were three or four trees that were absolutely laden with hazelnuts. These are the biggest I've ever seen them. I actually just took some from some trees and left some from took a few from a few trees, that's what I'm trying to say. And leave some on the trees for the wildlife. A few dandelions and some of the fennel from the usual place that I get it from. New, there's not many new shoots now. I'll use those in a salad, but the old woody stuff, you can still take that. It won't be very nice in um, cooking, but you can certainly dry it like I've done here. And you can uh, use that in remaking herb teas. Just pop it through a tea strainer. But I'll just I've just put a very, a very mild soapy mixture over this fennel because it's amazing how many green fly come off it. But as I always say, if you're out foraging, do your own research and make sure you know what you're picking before you pick it, people. Just look what you can find. Take care.